Yes, we're open, and I'm at Ngegni Coffee. I'm in Jom Tong. How can you go past Ngegni Coffee without having a delightful coffee here? Grudgy cab. Uh, espresso on double shot cup. Cap on, my cup. We can guarantee the quality of the coffee here at Ngegni Coffee. Delightful. Things never quite work out the way you intended. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I thought I'd or a couple of videos ago, I thought I'd ended the What Charm Devi uh, discussion, but uh, I forgot that there was this temple here. This is in Jom Tong, um, out at uh, Nong Long, I think is the um, area. And it's uh, only about uh, eight, nine years old, but the original Chedi little uh, statue place over by the river uh, is about a hundred years old and they've renovated the place quite significantly as you can see well this is what tip Apson Amon a temple dedicated to Queen Cham Devi who would have thought that I'd be talking about Cham Devi again <laughs> After all, much of the history of Thailand is built around the Hari Punchai, or Northern Thailand is built around Hari Punchai. So why shouldn't I be talking about her? Uh, these are the uh, statues of the nine um, previous kings. Stunning, spectacular, how absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I've been here a couple of times and uh, I'm always very pleased to see the simplicity of things and how beautiful things are. I'm going to go and play this gong over here. I can't resist. We slipping on the floor. Okay, I'm going to make you sing. I'm going to make you sound. Hopefully you're going to sound so deep and so beautiful. I'm shielding my eyes because the sun is so bright on these white tiles. That's so, so stunning. Well, you may remember in a previous video I did uh, from across here, I was actually standing on that staging there uh, talking about the, I think it's called Ping Cow or Ping Pling Cow or something like that resort. This is the resort area over here. It's actually got a, a coffee shop in in a big tree there. Uh, which tree is it now? Yes, the coffee shop's in uh, this big tree here. It's uh, like a treehouse coffee shop. Nice afternoon out from Chiang Mai. It's only an hour's drive down from the city, less than an hour really if you don't get any hold-ups coming through. But uh, it's a very nice place to come and to get here from Jom Tong itself. Jom Tong's uh, over over here and then you travel down to the river. There's the um, Buddha garden called Into the Garden uh, on the hillside there, the reclining Buddha and all those other chedi and things that are on the side. General grounds here were only created um, in what we see today uh, around about 2000, 2010, 2011. Uh, we first came out here, it just, um, just been, you know, started um, to be looking really stunning. Uh, not all the buildings were finished, but now there's uh, an, an administration building across here as well. So uh, you've got a quite a big organisation happening. It's termites. There's another one there, look, it's... Um Ventilation. Well, that's what our mate David Attenborough said they were anyway. They're ventilation for underground 
homes for the termites. Well, I was saying that this place is um, only recently beautified like this uh, in the last 10 years. And what we see here now, it, it's really bright on the face. But like many temples in Thailand, they're ornate. But as others have uh, responded to me in the comments to previous videos, each temple is unique. Uh, they're not, not all the same. If you've seen one temple, you have not seen them all. You've certainly not seen anything like this. Well, better safe than sorry. I just popped into the administration office here and spoke to the people there and said, would it be possible if I could take a drone uh, video over this temple area? And they said, no problem at all. I wish them well and uh, they got on with their lunch. <laughs> They offered me to eat with them. That's so lovely. I'm looking forward to my uh, Kelpad Bull at the 7-Eleven down the road. This is the Ping at Jom Tong, and I am standing next to a spirit house and also Doi Intanon uh, Riverside Resort. Uh, camping now seems to be, or should I say, the plush side of glamping <laughs> is now very trendy. You can get a five star stay overnight in nature, in natural surroundings, uh, manicured garden surroundings, and enjoy the pleasantries of having a, a mattress inside a tent. The types of things you get here are, you know, champagne for breakfast and, you know, all the luxuries of a five-star type stay, you know, barbecues and that sort of thing. Very nice. It's not for the adventurer, it's for the luxury traveller. Anyway, today's flight over the river. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy the, the views of the mountain and the river. It snakes around here so this water has actually come from up in that direction there and then it snakes around here and comes on down. Well you can see over there the clouds enveloping that mountain. That isn't Doi's uh, Intanon, it is actually part of the uh, range of Doi Intanon. Doi Intanon itself is beyond that so quite quite a long way away. Uh, it's the highest point in Thailand. Not that mountain, the one behind it. 
Uh, I went to a birthday party last night, a virtual one. Uh, I was with Bruno Unframed and uh, Tom Can. Uh, a couple of you will probably remember the uh, event. Bruno Ken, uh, he held a live stream on his birthday, on the evening of his birthday, and uh, you know, up to about 20 people came along and chatted and watched what he was up to. He was having a bag of crisps and a surreptitious Singer beer. I think he'll have a few more this weekend. I'm going to go over to prayer and have a celebratory meal with him uh, tomorrow. Uh, meet uh, Amp again and her family and sit down for some food. But uh, whilst uh, celebrating with Ken last night, uh, Somebody have made themselves uh, known in the uh, chat, and I, I thought it was, uh, you know, Jacques. Uh, this is Jacques. I, I, I thought it was Jacques from, uh, you know, the, the Cherry Bar, the, the Thailand uh, vlogging uh, channel that uh, I, I'd seen before. But no, Thailand Vloggers is a very, very important channel. Uh, I'd like to say a very, very big thank you to you, uh, Thailand vloggers, because what you've done is shown your passion for bringing people's um, art, pe bringing people's enthusiasm to uh, show Thailand in the light that they do, bringing the natural places around Thailand into uh, the, the vlogosphere. And YouTube now is full of people from all over the world vlogging about Thailand. This guy, uh, Thailand Vloggers, has compiled a, a website, a Facebook page, a YouTube channel dedicated to bringing these people into, um, into public awareness. <sighs> Thank you so much. There are familiar faces there, are some new faces. I've certainly followed up some leads. And, you know, I'm, I'm not doing... You know, bad Badger, uh, I saw your comment this morning. Uh, please, um, I'm not signing up to other people to get up to a 1,000 mark. I'm signing up to other people to give them some enthusiasm, to give them some pat on the back. I'm signing up to other people to actually say, well done. The Thailand vloggers actually said something in a conversation uh, he was having on the interview he was doing, you can see on his channel, uh, he said, a rising tide lifts all the boats. Now that is a very, very interesting statement. And I totally agree with that. What I'm about is bringing Thailand to a level of a global understanding of it's not about bars and beaches. I'm about bringing Thailand to be understood to be beautiful, to be enchanted, to be emotionally attractive to people who want to enjoy a different culture, who want to enjoy a different lifestyle. And this, these sorts of blogs, that, you know, vlogs that I make on this channel, hopefully do that. I'm actually trying to bring about an understanding of the other side of Thailand and, and thankfully to uh, Thailand vloggers I found a few more who were doing the same, enjoying not just retirement but enjoying Thailand to be what they find attractive in Thailand and it's not just about bars and beaches. Anyway, thank you for joining me and listening to me wrap it on there for a while. Uh, if you've liked this video, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up, please. Leave us a comment below and always check the descriptions on my videos. I leave a little bit more detail there. Uh, check back regularly. I tend to post more than once a week. And uh, I want to wish you happiness and wish you well. Stay safe. Bye-bye. I'm so happy today. Ha <laughs> ha.